number 11. Well, staying at number 11 from the previous week, Laura Brannigan on my fantasy playlist, the week of June the 11th, 1984. Self-Control, I remember watching this video, Summer 1984 on Night Tracks. It is one of the most sexiest videos I've ever seen. Laura Brannigan, she comports herself with absolute self-assurance. Of course, there are some scary scenes in there, and, and uh, the, there's the, the sense of mystery, a little bit of horror in there. The video was directed by William Friedkin. He's the guy who directed The French Connection and The Exorcist. The Exorcist, a big movie back in 1974, and uh, Self Control. It was done by an Italian artist early in 1984's name. I'll just say Raff. It's R A F. Raff's version, he co wrote that song as well. Raff's version went to number one in Italy. Laura Brannigan's version went to number one in Germany. And Laura Brannigan's uh, version of Self Control, well, she couldn't compete against the Raff version. Her version went to number 29 in Italy. But gosh, number one. Number one in Finland, Sweden, Switzerland. Here in the U.S., it went to number four. Laura Brannigan, she was signed by the legendary record mogul, Amit Amit Erdogan of Atlantic Records. He signed her in 1979. That four octave alto range that she had, and uh, she's dead. She passed away 10 years ago, and that is just hard to believe. Young, vibrant, sexy, so self-assured in that video, which was shot in New York City and in New Jersey. Now she's gone. She passed away from a cerebral, cerebral aneurysm. I believe I pronounced that word right. Uh, and uh, I take it that she was cremated because her ashes, I read that her ashes were scattered across Long Island Sound. That's just hard to believe. But I tell you what, we just all come and we go. Lord Brandon, self-control. <laughs>